Hello, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and it is that time of year. <laughs> Welcome to another one of my sneak peeks for Black Friday with Diamond Art Club. You guys, Diamond Art Club has been previewing new kits out the wazoo. <laughs> it is amazing. And if you haven't had the chance to see what they've shared so far, be sure to check out their social media, but they will be releasing a huge number of kits, which they're, they're not sharing. They're not even telling me how many kits they're releasing on Black Friday, but it is so many. There should be something for everyone and then some. So um, a huge thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for sending this over uh, for me to get to share with all of you ahead of Black Friday. Um, hopefully it'll help you narrow down your options. <laughs> so to give you really quickly all the details for the release. So the Black Friday release is going to go live on Friday morning at 6 a.m. Pacific time. That's for the general release and for the lower tiers of rewards members. Um, and these are all going to be offered at a very deep discount for a limited time. Um, that discount's going to go away on Friday at midnight. So um, you'll want to hop on it. Last year's Black Friday sale and discount was incredible incredibly generous and I have a feeling you're not going to disappoint this year either. Um, a quick note though, while the general release is at 6 a.m. Pacific time on Black Friday, if you are part of the diamond tier, specifically the diamond tier, you will have early access at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So be sure to set your alarms or stay up late. Um, yeah, you're going to want to take advantage of this sale. I have no doubt. So um, this sneak peek that I have to share with you, which I'm going to have, I think, four in total. So this is one of them. This is the absolutely beautiful Vase avec Marguerite at... Coquelicot? I don't know. I used to take French classes, but that, I'm sure I butchered that royally. <laughs> anyway, this is from the the absolute master, Vincent Van Gogh. And speaking of masters, this would totally qualify for Summer with the Masters if Jessica and I end up doing that event next summer. But look how beautiful this is. I am loving that Diamond Art Club is offering such a huge variety of art styles and kits that will hopefully just appeal to such a wide range of people and crafters. So this kit is gonna have square diamonds um, and is gonna be 43 by 64 centimeters. So not too, too huge. Um, and on the back of the box, we have everything that you need to know about how to diamond paint. There's also gonna be an instructional booklet in here if you need it. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So I also wanna make sure you know right up front that I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. And what that means is that I, I really fully stand behind their products. I've been a very long time customer of theirs and have completed several kits from them. And I'm so happy with the overall quality. However, I want to make sure you know that you're always going to get a fully honest, authentic, transparent opinion from me. This company is not perfect, but they do so much so incredibly well that I love getting to stand behind them. <laughs> so um, I do have an affiliate discount code for first time buyers, but if you are shopping on Black Friday, of course, use the Black Friday discount code. But if you come across this video in the future and you're shopping and you are new to Diamond Art Club and would like to save 20% off your first purchase, I do have a code that you can save 20% off of your first purchase. It's just my name, Katie, and then the number 20. Um, no obligation whatsoever. I just wanna make sure you know that that's there. Um, don't feel obligated to use it, like I said. All I recommend is just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club because they have discount codes everywhere. <laughs> so even if you don't use my affiliate code, um, visit the VIP group, check your packing slip in your box. There's usually one on there. There's a couple like in here. <laughs> so anyway, here's our basic toolkit for a square drill diamond painting kit. Uh, so baggies to store your uh, diamonds in after, a squishy to use with your pen, as well as a thin plastic multi-placer. I think that's a four placer. Pointy tweezers, they're sharp, so keep that cover on when you're not using them. Two plates of pink heart wax and a clear plastic tray. It really is everything you need to know or everything you need to do your diamond painting. Words are hard. I've been, I've been trying to get all these sneak peeks filmed and I need some copy. <laughs> also, Diamond Art Club includes 
uh, this little sticker. I like to use these in my logbook because I use a paper logbook. Um, it has all the information about the artwork itself and um, it's just the perfect size for that. Some people will use this on the sides of the boxes to help with sorting through their stash. If you're really crafty, you can make it into a minder or I don't know, something else, <laughs> some kind of magnet. Um, okay, so let's get into the kit itself. Oh my gosh. So Diamond Art Club's canvases are this really nice, sturdy, and thick material. And they're a little bit soft, but more importantly, they're going to lay flat really nicely and hold drills really, really well. Now this, as you can see, it doesn't wanna lay flat on its own. It will eventually lay flat on its own, but I'm trying to do a zippy little video here, so we're gonna help it along. Diamond Art Club does use poured glue on their canvases. It's a really nice quality poured glue. That also means that it's safe to roll backwards like I just did, and there we go. It is laying much more flat. Uh, I'll turn it sideways here so you can see the whole thing in frame for a bit. But, oh my gosh, this is stunning. Look at these rich, rich colors. I love that. Again, because this is from before, oh my gosh, I did an event on this and I'm like, before the year, 1926? That's what I have in my head. <laughs> Um, this is considered part of the public domain um, and would qualify for our old masters event. So again, that usually happens in the summer. We'll see if that's happening again next year. But anyway, like I said, I love so much that Diamond Art Club is offering a wide variety of artwork in their diamond painting kits. And there is the original artwork again. It's very muted. Uh, here's all the information about the kit itself. A uh, space for you to write your start and end date. This whole thing is a sticker sheet um, and all of these labels over here are pre-cut. So if you're like me and you like to kit up into storage containers, this will make that process go super quickly and easily for you. Here's all the info about the kit again. And looking at the symbols, I don't immediately see any that look too similar to one another. Um, and it's gonna have 41 colors. Also included in here is a step-by-step -step instructions for diamond painting. There is a discount code in here, and if you if you need help getting started with diamond painting, all that info's in there. Let's look at the canvas itself. So up here we have all of their branding. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying. And then over here on the top left, we have a legend or key code as well as over here on the bottom right. So if you like to refer to those when you're working, hopefully you'll have easy access to either one at any given time. Here is all the info about the artwork itself, including the size and the artists and whatnot. Here is Diamond Art Club's socials. And then all the information about their lifetime warranty. So if you ever run into any issues with the kit that you've purchased from Diamond Art Club, whether it has to do with the canvas, the glue, the drills, any of it, just reach out to them and they will take care of you. So let's take a look at the canvas itself and see what we think of the symbol clarity and whatnot. Look, we have a little bit of color blocking down here. Color blocking is where we have uh, sections that have quite a bit of the same color. So like here, this is all the same symbol. That means you'll be able to use your multi-placer. You'll be able to keep that same color in your tray for a little while. Often those kinds of areas go more quickly. By contrast, there are, actually there's not a ton of confetti, but you know, there's some small areas of confetti like over here and confetti is where you have a lot more of just, there's color changes. Um, you'll be using your single placer and changing colors in your tray more often. I like a good mix of both in my diamond paintings personally. Um, but yeah, this, this has a bit of both. The symbol clarity looks really, really good. That's again, pretty par for the course as far as Diamond Art Club goes. Let's do a quick measurement and see if it's true to size as ever. <laughs> 43 centimeters on the nose by, if I can find the end of my measuring tape, by just a tick shy of 64 centimeters. So I'm gonna call that true to size. Uh, let's take a look at the drills together. So if you do like to store your drills separate from your canvas, Outside of the box that they came in, Diamond Art Club does put that nice convenient sticker on there for you so you can match them up again easily later. 
All right. Look, so, 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 so pretty. And as always, a fantastic packing job by the Diamond Art Club folks. So let's go ahead and get into these colors. All right, of course, these amazing rich greens. Now, like I mentioned, these are square drills. Diamond Art Club did recently change over to manufacturing all of their drills in house. And you guys, in particular, the new square drills are incredible. I feel like you can notice the difference much more quickly with the square than the round drills, in large part because the square drills all have now have 13 facets on top, where with the older drills, um, they were a mix of nine and 13 facets on top. But just look at how uniform those are cut. Like, oh my gosh, the quality is so, 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 so good. Um, oh, look at that. That is our first AB. Have I ever worked with this AB before? <laughs> okay, so this is 100, which in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, any numbers under the number 150 are AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that is just referring to this really really pretty iridescent coating that you see sparkling sparkling just that extra bit there um it will really beautifully enhance the areas that it's been placed it'll kind of draw your eye to them as well and if you look at the colors this is reflecting it's not just reflecting this olive green color i'm seeing like some pinks and a little bit of blue <laughs> so it's going to pick up some of the colors around it as well that's going to be so 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 pretty we will take a look at the canvas together and I'm gonna point out to you where these ABs are charted. So no worries about that. That's making me feel Christmassy. <laughs> Two bags of 814, 498. That gray and those reds. Here is our second AB, I think. Ooh, we're gonna have four ABs in this one, you guys. I just looked at the inventory sheet. This one is a white AB 141. I feel like this is one of Diamond Art Club's favorite ABs because it is because it is such a nice neutral. Oh my gosh, look at those. Love it, love it, love it. 3371 Those were all of our bigger bags. Let's get into these smaller ones. All right. 783 some gorgeous earth tones here. It's nice to see Diamond Art Club do some like really muted colors like this. It's really pretty. All right, our next AB, our third AB, this is 136. Look at this blue AB. This is so striking and so beautiful. And it's reflecting all sorts of colors. I love that. And then more of these pretty muted, muted colors. And earthy tones and here we go here is our last AB just the tiniest tiniest handful this is 129 it's a pale buttery yellow AB and it reflects those pretty pastels on top too okay let's take a quick oh wait did I miss a strand I don't think I showed these colors this is little strand by itself <laughs> maybe I did oh well just in case it can't hurt so taking a look together let's start at the bottom and we'll take a look at where these ab's are going to go so the white ab is um here in the table a bit actually it's kind of quite a bit through here which if we look at the original artwork oops let me not just make a whole mess yeah it's just through bits of the table down here um, if we keep moving up a bit, I'm looking for the numbers one, two, three, and four, because that's how they've numbered the ABs in this particular piece. Um, more of that white AB here, as well as in all of these pretty flowers over here. Actually, not all of them. Some of them. There's the white AB in here, here, and a bit up here. And, ooh, I am completely ignoring that amazing olive AB that we had that big, big bag of. It looks like they use it for just some highlighting in here. So if you're looking at the original artwork, you can see kind of the effect of the artwork and how it's been painted. So in some of these lighter areas where you see those like brush strokes, that's where they've placed some of that olive AB. And that's such a subtle AB. I think that's gonna 
be very fitting for those areas. There's a little bit of that olive AB tracing up a bit through here. Uh, there's some of the olive AB actually in these pretty white flowers where you see that pale green. The number two, that buttery yellow AB, there's just, there's six of them right here. <laughs> and a little bit more of that buttery yellow AB right here. And here is at the center of those flowers. I keep moving up. I keep seeing a sprinkle, like a tiny bit of that olive AB sprinkled through here where you see the palest green colors. So the overall effect seems to be kind of throughout the entire painting, but not so heavy handed. It'll be distracting because I do feel like with Van Gogh's art style, it doesn't, it shouldn't have tons and tons of ABs, especially when it's this muted. But I think that the way these have been charted is going to be subtle enough that it's going to work nicely. The blue AB, which is again, very striking. They have just really sparingly a little bit in here, as well as a little bit up here. It's surrounded by so much black and so much non AB blue colors that I think that'll help tone it down a little bit. And then there's quite a bit of that olive green AB throughout the painting up here in this corner. I think it's possible I missed some because this is a very kind of intricate piece. I may have missed some, but overall, I think that that's really, really beautiful charting. I think that's going to look so gorgeous when it's completed. So again, this is one of Diamond Art Club's Black Friday releases and is going to be released with all of their many, many, many other Black Friday kits. Um, this upcoming Friday on, um, sorry, at 6 a.m. Pacific time for the general release and for the lower, lower rewards tiers. And if you're part of the diamond tier, you will get early access at midnight, six hours prior. So set those alarms and be sure to follow along with Diamond Art Club on both Instagram and Facebook so you can see what else they're previewing leading up to Black Friday. Be sure to check out the VIP group. There's some really helpful info there about the new releases for Black Friday. And of course, keep an eye out for the other sneak peeks that my fellow creators and friends will be sharing as we lead up to the big release. So let me know if you have any questions at all about this kit or about the Black Friday release itself. I wish you all the best of luck snagging all of the kits on your wish list for the big sale. Um, I am very, very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you in deciding if this kit should be on your wish list for Black Friday. I think it's amazing and think it should definitely um, be on your list if this kind of art style is for you. So again, thanks for watching. If you'd like to uh, see my other sneak peeks and follow along with my other diamond painting content, I would love to have you be a part of my little community corner on the internet here. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have a wonderful holiday if you're celebrating and a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.